With this new Thrive Quiz Builder feature, you can decide which students of your online course can proceed to the next lesson in Thrive Apprentice based on their quiz results. In other words, whenever you place a quiz within a Thrive Apprentice lesson, you can prevent the students who do not meet the required test score to mark the lesson as complete. They will only be able to advance to the next lesson once they take the quiz and manage to get the required score. So for exemplifying this, I will need a Thrive Apprentice course and the quiz built with Thrive Quiz Builder. I have mine right here. You can see that I've created a numeric type of quiz, meaning that the user will have to get the minimum score before marking the lesson as complete. I've also added here a number of questions and attached a different score to each of my answers. Now, what I also want to do here is to offer the students the possibility of retaking the quiz in case they do not get it right the first time. So let's just edit the results page and add here a dynamic link that takes the students back to the beginning of the quiz, thus allowing them to retake it without having to exit the course. So this is the text that will become clickable, so the students can simply click this to retake the quiz, and then here using this option and then selecting here dynamic, we will be able to simply turn this text into a dynamic link that allows the student to restart the quiz. So this is selected by default. The system is intuitive like that. I'm just going to click insert and that's done. Okay, now let's head over to Thrive Apprentice and embed the quiz there. This is my Thrive Apprentice course, the one I will be working on. And I have here the last lesson of my first module called final exam. So let's just go ahead and edit it and then use here a quiz element in order to display my quiz. So I'm just going to open the right sidebar list of elements, look for the quiz one and just drag and drop it wherever I see fit. Now let's go ahead and select the quiz and that's pretty much done. Now the only thing left to do is to head over to the left sidebar and expand this advanced set of options. So this is the toggle that enables the mark as complete behavior based on the result that the students are getting for this quiz. So activating this one will trigger another set of options. And here, as you can see, we can select the enable mark as complete behavior for those situations in which the user achieves a minimum score. Now, this option will always be directly impacted by the type of quiz that you have selected at the beginning when you are first setting up the quiz. So if you have a numeric type of quiz, naturally, you'll be able to control the mark as complete behavior based on a minimum score needed by the student. If you have a right or wrong type of quiz, then there's no scoring attached to the answers. So this option will change accordingly and will be based on the number of right or wrong answers provided by the student. Then for the quiz category, you'd have to select here which categories are fit for allowing the student to proceed to the next lesson of your quiz and so on. And all these options are detailed in the dedicated article for this feature. Now here, there's one more thing I need to do, and this is to set the minimum score that needs to be achieved. So the way I configure the quiz is each correct answer will get you one point and I have a total of three questions. So this means that the maximum score that can be achieved is three and in this case the minimum score required in order to mark the lesson as complete will be two. So as long as my students will get a minimum of two points they will be able to advance to the next lesson or to the next module of my course. If they score under two then they will be asked to retake the quiz. So now let's just save our work and do a test run to see how this would look like for any student taking the quiz. So first I'm going to provide only wrong answers to show you how the feature works when the minimum score is not met. And then we'll do another one in which we can advance to the next lesson. So at the moment, as you can see, I've managed to get zero points, which means that this mark lesson as complete button is grayed out. So I cannot proceed to the next lesson of my course. Fortunately, I have here a retake the quiz dynamic link, which will take me back to the beginning of the quiz. And now with all my correct answers provided, I will be able to mark this lesson as complete and proceed to the next lesson. So this was how to use the mark as complete feature in Thrive Apprentice. As always, I hope you found this tutorial useful and easy to follow. <laughs>